Hello and welcome to the second part of this little tutorial series. Now it's time to make a fence and for that we of course need fence parts. And for that you can either go to my website at bicubeanimation.com and under free assets, models, you can find free fence parts. Um, of course, you can also model some yourself. It's only important that you have uh, only one pole so that we can set them procedurally behind each other. Um, if you have downloaded the file, you will find two kinds of fences, one with three planks and one with two planks. In our case, uh, we will take the fence with two planks. So it's fence two. And you will also find additional ID for each fence if you want. I will show you how you can integrate it, but you don't have to. If you only want to use the fence, it's totally okay. Um, I wanted to give it some kind of dreamy touch with the IV that only grows on the um, upper side of the fence, but it's totally up to you. Now we append the fence to our main file. We go to File. Append, search for the fence file, double click, collection, and we wanted fence2. And here it is. Um, we do it out of the collection. And this collection we name just curves, I would say. This is the curve for the path. So we just call this path. Then this is our terrain. All right. Then we do the camera out of our curves collection. And here with a right click, we say select all. So we select all parts of the fence and do it a little bit down so that you can't see it anymore. Perfect. Okay, first we go into the viewport shading so that we can see our path better. And what we want is we want a um, fence on the left side and on the right side of the path. And we will also use a curve to scatter the fence parts on the terrain. But we can't use the main curve because it's on the middle of the path and um, it would be also only one fence. Um, but uh, what we do is we just duplicate this curve and link the data. So it has the advantage if uh, we make changes on the main curve, it also affects the link curve. Um, for that, uh, just click with the right mouse button and then say duplicate linked. Right click. And now we go into the constraints. Mm, child off. And then we select the main curve. So if we change the position of the main path, it also changes the position of the second path and um, here we uh, rename it to left fence then we uh, do it like yeah I would say we move it uh, four meters to the left and then we duplicate it again Duplicate linked. We also say child of path. We call it right fence. And we move it to the right. Perfect. And now if I select the main path and go into the edit mode, and change something. As you can see, it also affects the other curves. Okay, then it's time for the geometry nodes for the fence gathering. Um, for that, we first select our left fence. 
then we click on new and the first node we need is an instance uh, on points node then we need a set position node a collection info node for the instance and also a resample curve node we put here in between and also a sample curve node and a line Euler to vector node then we connect the um, the tangent to the vector and the rotation to the rotation all right then um okay, now we need a spline parameter uh, node we connect the factor to the factor all right here factor all curves we have to set the index to one i guess um yeah and we also need a value node not necessary but it's easier for the scaling um, set it to one or something like that and now um, here we select our collection so from the fans um, so first we only want the wood zwei and here it is um, now we have to say pick instance and um, here we have to check separate children and reset children all right and now um, the scaling is way too big of course we have to make it smaller like 0.2 Okay, and then much more. Yes, this is a little bit too much, like 80 or no, <laughs> 40, 50, ah, 60. Okay, um. We can now rename the uh, uh, modifier to fans. And now we only have to connect the output of the resample curve to the input of the sample curve. And as you can see, we get the right rotation. Uh, the count is still too high, so I would say 40 is good. Yes. And the last thing we have to do is um, we have to go to the modifiers and add a shrink web modifier and put it up. And we have to activate apply on spline. All right, as the target, we choose the terrain. And it really seems to work quite well. So we can make the same thing on the uh, other side. So we select the right fence, add another shrink wrap modifier as the target, we choose the terrain again. We apply uh, on spine, we activate it. And we, yes, we, um, uh, Add our geometry nodes modifier and select our fence modifier. 
and here we go. Now you can also frame it again if you want. So just select the upper nodes and press Ctrl J, F2, and here we say we call it wood and Control J and this one um, we call Ivy. Thanks for watching and I hope I see you in the next chapter.